Hey everybody, it's Roland from eatwellmovewell.com. Today we are going to make cold brewed coffee. Actually, we're gonna start it. It takes about five minutes to get it going and two days to make the coffee. You're gonna enjoy it though, it's worth the wait. All right, let's get started. Today I'm using uh, Trader Joe's Bali Blue Moon Coffee, but you can use anything you like. Got the ingredients right there. I'm gonna go with about uh, 16 scoops, which uh, for those of you who have a scale, 90 grams, uh, 1.3 cups, sort of a medium roast coffee, and you need about four cups of water. Uh, use really good with water, uh, filtered water or bottled water, something good because if your water tastes bad, your coffee is going to taste bad. When you grind your coffee, grind it pretty coarsely, even more coarsely than you would with a French press. Um, for, normally I would grind coffee you know, 20 sec 15, 20 seconds. I did, only did this like 5 or 6 seconds to keep it pretty, uh, pretty uh, coarse. Um, the hardest part is actually to get it into the jar without spilling it all over the place. I'm using a canning funnel, but you can just scoop it individually, but that's really boring to watch, so let's do it like this. Pretty easy. And then we're going to add some water. See how it sort of floats up there? So I take a spoon just to get it wet, so it'll sink down, makes this nice little sludge. And add more water. Put the lid on it. Stick it in the fridge 24 48 hours later. Um, depending on how strong you like it, you are good to go. We'll see you in a minute. Hey, right, I am back. It's 48 hours for me. Only a few seconds for you. We're going to take the cold brew coffee. It's been sitting in the fridge for 48 hours. Get rid of that lid. Now you don't want to put it straight into the filter because there's too much sediment, too much, too many grounds. So first we're going to take just a regular old sort of kitchen strainer. You could use a colander, anything that goes over a bowl. And um, you're just going to pour this thing through there. Our goal is basically just to get the, we're going to see it, there we go. It's like mud. You swirl it a drain. Take too long. I mean, if you're, that's it. That's it. Just let it go. So I'm off to the side. Now, you're going to take your filter. Put it in here. All right. And take your strained coffee. And now we're going to actually filter it and do it a clean jar. Let's see going. Uh, there's still quite a bit of stuff in here and it's a lot of coffee so it's going to take a couple of minutes so just give it some time let it go and uh, be right back. All right we are here with the end result. We've got the cold brew concentrate in the jar ready for the lid to stick in the fridge. Should last you about a week unless you drink it faster than that. Um, we've got my first cup of coffee right here. I've already been tasting it and I went with boiling water and three parts water, hot water, to one part cold brew coffee because this is pretty concentrated. So if you like it a little bit stronger, obviously adjust and uh, you're good to go there. If you are using iced coffee, if you're having iced coffee, I would recommend either doing it straight over ice, it's sort of a very mild espresso taste, or you can do uh, one to one or even if you like it. If you already like it watered down a little bit more, um, go to go two to one or yeah two to one. Um, anything more than that, and uh, you're gonna by the time that ice melts, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be too too diluted. But it's pretty good, and uh, I think you're gonna like it. It's a great easy way to make a very refreshing iced coffee, and also it's a, a real nice way to have a a real smooth cup of coffee um, ready to go anytime you want. All you gotta do is boil water. See ya.